Hello everyone, and welcome to another video on this channel. Today, we're going to talk about the worldwide premiere of the new and super powerful Yamaha NMAX Turbo 155. This new model is the evolution and replacement of the current NMAX, and fortunately for many, it maintains almost the same price tag. This NMAX has the word Turbo in its name, because its engine now incorporates a variable electric transmission, which is more efficient and gives us an extra boost that increases the acceleration and deceleration of the motorcycle. We also expect to see it exported to the rest of the world in 2025, where it will compete against the Honda ADV 160 and the Honda PCX 160. In this video, I will tell you its official sale price, its possible sale price for the global market, its most important mechanical features, its technological and exterior design, its direct rivals in the category, and all the curious and important data about this new motorcycle on the market. So, if you're interested in this information, I invite you to stay tuned until the end. This new Yamaha NMAX is an Indonesian-made scooter that gets an update in its third version. For most countries, it will come mainly with its 155cc engine, but for the European continent, it will be available as the Yamaha NMAX 125 Turbo. Let's remember that the first NMAX in this family arrived in 2015, while the 2.0 version appeared in 2019 and became one of the best-selling scooters in the category in some regions. Now for 2024, the brand surprises us with the 3.0 version, which renews its entire aesthetic and refines its mechanics a bit more. This new Yamaha NMAX Turbo had its world presentation in Indonesia, where the brand already offers us five different versions of this model, each version with different equipment and a different price. It should be noted that the simplest and most economical motorcycles are the NEO version and the SNEO version, which unfortunately do not have a turbo engine and do not add many technological accessories either. On the other hand, the superior versions are the turbo version, the Turbo Tech Max version, and the most premium and expensive of all is the Yamaha NMAX Turbo Tech Max Ultimate, which is up to 40% more expensive than the NEO version. The engine of this new Yamaha comes in two versions. If we look at the basic entry models in detail, they completely reuse the engine from the previous version. However, for the higher-end versions, we have this same engine but improved with the new turbo technology, which the brand has called YECVT, Yamaha Electric Continuously Variable Transmission. Basically, this technology replaces the rollers of the CVT gearbox with an electric controller that is more efficient and precise, which increases the motorcycle's acceleration in three different levels, which we can control with a lever on the left handlebar. In both cases, this engine is a single-cylinder SOHC four-stroke 155cc engine with a single overhead camshaft and four valves per cylinder. Its maximum power is 15 horsepower at 8,000 RPM, and its maximum torque is 14.2 Newton meters at 6,500 revolutions per minute. This engine is liquid-cooled, has fuel injection, and the cylinder bore and stroke is 58 millioners by 58.7 millioners. Its compression ratio is 11.6 to 1. It retains the variable valve timing system, has traction control, has two riding modes, urban and sport, has a keyless ignition system, and also incorporates a stop-start system that reduces fuel consumption when the motorcycle is stopped. The total weight of the new NMAX in its NEO version is around 130 kilograms, while for the turbo version, it reaches up to 133 kilograms. The fuel tank capacity is 7.1 liters, and we expect its top speed to exceed 125 kilometers per hour. Well guys, moving on to the design section. We emphasize that this new NMAX takes the structure of the previous model and presents a complete and total redesign of its entire exterior with a more modern and aggressive approach. Among the most important points to highlight are the new futuristic headlight, the full LED mainlight, 
complemented by DRL-type lights on the sides and LED turn signals anchored to the headlight. The robust fairing, the large and aerodynamic dome, the handlebars with plastic covers, the monochrome digital instrument panel for NEO models, and the color TFT screen for the turbo version with assisted GPS navigation compatible with the Garmin Street application, the Bluetooth connection for the cell phone, the side glove compartments with a charging connector, the conventional telescopic suspension, the front mudguard, the front disc brake with a single piston caliper, the dual channel ABS anti-lock braking system on both wheels, the 13 inch rim with 11070 tires, the fuel tank space, the footrests for the rider and passenger, the ergonomic one piece seat with a height of 770 mm the 25-litre storage trunk, the robust exhaust system identical to that of the 2.0 version with a minimum ground clearance of 135 mm the circular rear spoiler, the double brake light with LED bulb, the also embedded rear turn signals, the robust mudguard and license plate holder, the aluminum alloy swing arm anchored to two shock absorbers with gas cartridge, the rear disc brake also with single piston caliper and the 13-inch tire with 130-70 tires. Speaking of the sale price of this new Yamaha and its possible sale price for the global market, we can say that this model in its NEO version without turbo technology has a sale price of 32,700,000 Indonesian rupees which is almost the same sale price as the Yamaha NMAX of the second generation that is still being sold in its country of origin, but which surely has its days numbered in the factory and will soon be discontinued. While on the other hand, the NMAX Turbo model increases its price by 15%. In this sense, gentlemen, we can foresee that the new Yamaha NMAX 3.0 could reach the market for a public sale price of more than $3,800 for the NEO version and around $4,200 for the turbo version, which at the exchange rate would be around 180,000 and 200,000 Indian rupees, 110,000 and 125,000 Thai baht, 153,000 and 170,000 Philippine pesos, 425,000 and 480,000 Japanese yen, 27,000 and 30,000 Chinese yuan, 68 million and 75 million Vietnamese dong and 12,000 and 13,500 Malaysian ringgits. While for the European market, the Yamaha Namax Turbo 125 version could arrive for more than 3,500 and 4,000 euros. As always guys to this, we must add the registration and insurance costs. Finally, we can highlight that this new scooter arrives on the world market to compete in this category against models such as the powerful Honda ADV 160, the Aprilia SR 160, the Kiwi Viest 170, the Honda PCX 160, the new Sim 160, and also the Yamaha Aerox 155. In conclusion, we can affirm that this new Yamaha NMAX with this new update undoubtedly becomes one of the most premium, powerful and modern scooters on the market worldwide. As always guys, I hope you liked the video and all the information. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell. And if you want to support me, remember to leave the thumbs up, leave your comment and share the video on social networks. See you next time. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm